Hey everybody, Jimmy with Cowboys Trailers and Ranches. So, let's dive into episode three. This is where Jimmy gets to meet uh, one of his all-time heroes, which everybody knows George Strait, and it's not George Strait, <laughs> but it may be the next, uh, it may be the next best thing. Uh, we got to meet uh, Mr. Benny MacArthur, which Benny MacArthur is the man uh, who pretty much, he didn't start Dason the whole man, but he has become the key component being not only George's lead guitarist, but George's lead fiddle player. So we were at the Broken Spoke, and I was doing a podcast with the Cowboy Roundups, Patty Franklin. And while we were doing our podcast, um, Benny MacArthur and Jody Dominguez, <clears throat> which Jody Dominguez, he is the lead singer of the Texas known um, State Line Band, which if you haven't heard those guys, you need to, need to tune those guys in. And Jody and Benny were sitting there watching us, and we got done. And Jody comes up to me, he's like, hey, man, are you guys doing a podcast? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, no way. So what's it about? And so we started chatting, and uh, next thing I know, Jody's like, oh, man, we want to be on it. I'm like, well, that's cool. I said, you and you and State Line Band? He's like, no, it's me and me and Benny. I said, Benny? It's like Benny MacArthur. I'm like, Benny MacArthur, they used to know band. And Jody's like, yeah. So we, uh, we've been doing some stuff together, and their latest single, Dance Hall Devil, was pretty much created by Benny. So anyway, long story short, <clears throat> we became pretty good friends, and I got to, I got to meet Benny. So we had stayed in touch uh, over the course of a few months, and then um, we had a chance to go back to the Broken Spoke Saloon, which this is where, where it all happened at, and got to be good friends with the owners of the Broken Spoke, and so they let us, so they let us do our uh, our filming there. And I'll tell you, <laughs> yep. If you uh, if anybody's ever um, got a chance to meet uh, some of their their uh, childhood heroes, that was a pretty big that was a pretty pretty big deal for Jimmy. So we um, we got there, and we filmed, and Benny Benny doesn't do this right. So Benny is he is a low key cat. I mean this this dude is chill from from the get go. So for Benny to do this, man, you want to talk about some cat, somebody being out of their, their comfort zone? <laughs> Benny, Benny MacArthur was way out of his comfort zone. Um, so just to get him excited to do this, which he was, he really was excited to do it. And he kept telling me, he's like, Jimmy, he said, I'm telling you, he said, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this. But yeah, I, I like you and I like what you're doing. And I, I think it's pretty cool. So so anyway, we um, and you can you can tell if you watch, uh, if you watch the episode, um, Benny um, it's it's he's pretty chill, and there were times I had to kind of, kind of not drag it out of him, but keep it going, and uh, and Jody Jody Jody's natural. I mean Jody's just a natural on camera, but you want to talk about a guy who is just you know he's got that it factor on stage. Um, they do a lot of cover cover stuff uh, on George and man I'm telling you what you see you see Jody up on stage covering George and it's just like wow <laughs> that he uh, he does it as good as anybody um, so so we did we did our we did our we filmed and it I loved it um, I would have probably changed um, doing some of the music stuff but uh, you know what well, we uh, that's what we had to work with but uh like I said, Benny MacArthur, Ace and the Whole Band, yeah, that's that's bu that's bucket list stuff. Um, so anyway, check out episode number three on your home TV, uh, and also accessible through the Roku channel. Episode number three, Jody Dominguez and Benny MacArthur, Ace and the Whole Band, guys, love you, appreciate you for for doing that with me, and. Um, we will see you somewhere down the road. Um, so hope y'all enjoy it. Y'all keep it Western on your home TV.